Hi, welcome to Why and What session of RMIS Academy. This is Rajesh, Faculty of Current Affairs. In this video session, we are going to see three important robots which was in use in last one year. Before getting into these robots, it is important to know what is robots. A robot is a machine, basically, that can perform certain tasks. That's it. See, the direction or the guide can be to an external control device or the control may be embedded within. Basically, these robots are not always in human forms. We think robots are always in human form. Certainly not. Only few robots are humanoid in nature. For example, a Simo of Hondas is a humanoid robot. But not all robots are humanoid in nature. See, these robots are basically designed in order to perform certain tasks. So not always aesthetics is important. It is the task is important. One such task related matter robot is Vayom Mutra, which was recently in news. See, ISRO have a plan of manned mission to space in December 2021. And before that, ISRO decides to send a humanoid Oyomutra in unmanned Gaganyan spacecraft ahead of this human space flight. Why they are doing it? That's an important one. So according to ISRO Chief K. Shivan, this particular female humanoid robot, that is Vayomutra, will perform all the functions in space as equivalent to what humans are going to do in Gaganyan after their launch. So it will check whether the systems are right, everything is going correct or not. See, this is going to be very useful to stimulate as if a human is flying. So, it is going to be a stimulative module. A very important mission by ISRO. And you know what is called Gaganyan mission. This Gaganyan mission is India's first manned mission planning to send three astronauts to be in space for seven days. It's going to be a very critical mission for government of India and they are going to use GSLV Mark III, that's India's most powered uh, rocket. So this particular India's most powered rocket is going to take Gaganyan into space. So that's about Vayam Mitra. The next one is Neons. See, Neons are from Samsung based star lab. See, this is AI only, but there is a difference between other AAs like Google Assistants. See, this particular neons work with the principle of R3. Reality, you can see it real time, it will give you a real time information and responsiveness. You can ask anything, it will respond. Not like Google Assistant, this is going to be in a real world. So this was manufactured by Star Lab, backed by Samsung, because it can be given with an avatar to do a specific task. You can see in a picture also. So one is a news reporter, one is a, a jogger. So you can very well see these neons is going to be in a real world. And they're going to do the real functions. But this particular software yet to reach beta stage. See, beta stages is a stage in progressiveness of a particular software. Pre-alpha, alpha, beta stage. There are different stages with respect to software. Many of the softwares are in beta stage. So if this particular neon yet to reach the beta stage, it does mean it, it to be a commercial auto boots. The next one we are going to deal with 
xenobots xenobots are very different types of robots so you can see it is less than a millimeter hence i can say it is very very small hence it is a based on nanotechnology see this xenobots are world newest tiny living robots see this particular robots are living in nature because this tiny living machines have been created using cell taken from african clawed frog embryos by scientists based out of usa see the machine is very small but they can travel anywhere especially within human body so the application of this particular xenobots are multiple in nature see one speciality of the xenobot is it have self healing capabilities see when the scientist sliced into one robot it healed by itself and kept moving because the cell which is taken from the frog is stem cell so it can heal by itself now you can understand it is a living programmable organism it has multiple uses it can walk swim it can survive without food for even months and it can work together in groups also so you can use this particular xenobots in multiple places like you can use to clean up radioactive waste collecting the microplastics from the oceans carry medicine inside human bodies see there's a huge research going on related to drug delivery so nanotechnology this particular xenobots can be used to deliver drug in a particular place i think you understood what is xenobots right thank you for listening this video i hope you understood all three robots which was in news recently thank you